Hey everyone, this is Aaron Collins and this is another rendition of me addressing worldly issues in a godly way. Uh, actor, a Nigerian British actor named John Boyega, he's under a lot of scrutiny. For those of you who don't know who John Boyega is, I'm gonna, he's, um, he, he played Finn in the latest Star Wars installment, one of the latest Star Wars installments, The, the Force Awakens, two years ago. And he's currently in the new movie, Detroit. Um, yeah. Recently, um, John Boyega was at what's known as the Carnival Festival. It's a celebration of Caribbean culture, music, lifestyle. And he was dancing with a, you know, a Caribbean young lady, a, black, a beautiful Caribbean girl. Well, that caused a lot of fury with some feminazis. <laughs> Or, or, or some Neander feminists, whatever. Anyway, they um, got this twisted warped conception that he was cheating on Ray. Don't know who Ray is. Ray is a character from the Star Wars universe, also in a, The Force Awakens, it was played by an actress named Daisy Ridley. Yeah, not the character, not, I mean, not the actress, but the character. They were bringing fictional characters in this saying that he was cheating. And much to their, sh it, 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 it gets weird. I don't even um, care to really go into the specifics of it. But the point is, is this. John Boyega has made it personal. He's made a statement in the past that he loves black women. Him being a black man, he loves black women. And that's caused a lot of, that's caused a lot of feminists, particularly white ones, to be very livid at him. But I'm going to say this. I'm going to give a shout out to John. And I'm going to say it's about time. You know, and people may say that, well, he's not even American. He's British. He's a black man. That, that's the point. And I just want to go and just um, compliment and congratulate John and say that, we need more brothers like this, especially in the entertainment industry that's going to stand up for black women. We don't have enough black men that are standing up for black women. Now, yours truly is one of them who will stand up for his black women. And that's not to say that I don't like anyone else. But why is it that anytime when a black man stands up for a black woman, why is there some backlash? Why is there a problem? Why is it that we're accused of being hateful? simply because we're loving our women. See, it's a double standard when it comes to black people. Everyone else is allowed to show racial pride and pride in their women and children, pride in their culture. But when it comes to black people, oh, we're being racist. Or you're being, you're, you're being divisive and you're just being whatever. But anyway, and I apolog un un unapologetically say this, that thank you, John. I appreciate you doing that. You know, you, you, you scored some brownie points with me, and um, you, got my, you got my respect for that. Malcolm X once made a statement a long time ago, and I've, and I've quoted this in other videos I've made, that the black woman is the most unprotected woman on the planet and I added that the black woman is the most unprotected and the most disrespected woman on the planet now as black men it is our sworn duty to stand up and protect our black women because the black without the black woman we wouldn't have the black man because we all came from black women so we must stand up and protect them. When, when black men start standing up for their black women, then will the natural order of things start to take place. Then we'll start getting back and defending our communities. Our children will come back to us. The black family structure will once again be strengthened. See, this is what they don't want to happen. The society as we know it today is pushing for an interracial agenda. Now, 
for those who are in interracial relationships, hey, I'm, I'm not going to knock that. I'm not, not going to put you down for it. But it's just something about the black family structure that just brings a balance to the atmosphere. It brings, it just brings normalcy to the universe. But um, I'm gonna go on and once again go on record to say, John Boyega, you have found the new fan in me. You've got my support and you got my respect. And once again, to the black women out there, and I admit, there are some black women who can be pretty ratchet. There's some black women out there who can be, you know, unladylike. Yeah, I get that. But there's plenty of good black women out there. There's some beautiful black women out there that would love to just for men to just be men. And there's a lot of women out there that are not gold diggers, that are not materialistic. There's some black women out there that just want black men to just stand up and be men. They just want us to take the reins. Want us to do what we're supposed to do. Once again, once black men start returning to the communities, once we start loving our women and again, then the natural order of things will start to take place. That's all. That's all it is. That's nothing hard. And I know I'm gonna probably get some coons and some beta males that's gonna call me a simp for this. But this is nothing new to me. I've been called a simp before. I can handle it. But you can just best be, you can just best know and be sure that you got a black man here that's gonna protect you and that's gonna love you. Because I come from a black woman my sisters are black women. I got aunts, cousins, nieces, whoever. Got friends too, and they're black women. Do I need to say any more? So once again, to John Boyega and all the other black men, famous, infamous, and otherwise, that's out there loving on our black women, doing what you're supposed to do, my hats is off to you also. Keep doing what you gotta do. And don't ever stop. And don't ever let no one make you feel bad for doing it. Because one thing I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna get up there and publicly berate black women. I'm not gonna get on YouTube. I'm not gonna make videos and call them hair hats and whatever. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna disrespect these black women out here. All the single black women that are out there that are struggling, trying to raise children on your own, out there trying to make ends meet, my hat goes off to you too. I realize it's hard, it's tough, but keep your head up. This time's going to get greater. Once again, like, comment, subscribe, share this video, get in the comments. Hit the bell icon on the bottom. Be notified when I make other videos. God loves you. I love you. Let's do life.